What's a hemisphere? We take a sphere and we slice it in half and you have the top and you have the bottom. So it's like taking an orange and splitting it with your sibling and they get half and you get half. Okay, so that's what we're talking about, just a hemisphere, half a sphere. Okay, to find the area of the hemisphere, I need you to think for a second. Okay, if you have halved that orange, you have half of the surface area that's the skin of the orange, don't you? But don't forget, the surface area also has a flat part, the face of the orange, the juicy part, right? So when you're finding the surface area of a hemisphere, you not only count the curved part, but you also have to count that flat part. Well, what's the flat part on a hemisphere or on an orange? It's the great circle. So guess what the area of a great circle is? Pi r squared. It's just the area of the circle in relation to that sphere, right? It's just a round curve. Okay, so let's think about this. The area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. But we want a hemisphere, so we're going to divide that in half. So we've got 2 pi r squared. Okay, and that's the curved part of the hemisphere. But then we have to account for the flat part. So we're going to take that 2 pi r squared and we have to add one more circle to it for the flat part. So if you look at it, we got 2 pi r squared plus pi r squared. That's really just a, real, a 1 right there, right? So we really have 3 pi r squared. So that formula, 3 pi r squared, is the surface area of a hemisphere, including the flat part. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I wanted to show you where that came from and not just give you the formula. Okay, now the volume. The volume's a little bit different. You got the orange, you slice it in half, you get half, your sibling gets half. Do you have to count for any more? Did they get any extra volume? No, there's no extra volume. So, we're going to take 4 thirds pi r cubed times a half. Well, we're just going to take half of that. That ends up being 4 sixths or 2 thirds pi r cubed. So that is the volume formula for a hemisphere, 2 thirds pi r cubed. If you forget, just take the 4 thirds and multiply it by half and get 4 sixths and reduce it to 2 thirds. Okay, that's how you find the volume. So let's do one forward one. Given a radius of, let's say, 6, find the surface area and find the volume. Okay, so the surface area is going to be 3 pi times the radius, which is 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. So 3 times pi times 36. 3 times 36 is what? 108. 108 pi. And we'll make that inches inches squared. So that's how you would find the, the um, surface area given just the radius. Okay, volume, very similar. You're just plugging into your two-thirds formula. Two-thirds times pi radius, which is 6 cubed. And 6 cubed a minute ago, we said was 216. So 2 thirds times, two, times pi times 216. Hmm, I don't know that off the top of my head, so I'll grab a calculator. So times 2 and divided by 3, 144. So it's 144 pi, and this would be inches cubed because we're talking about the volume. Okay, so you can do that. The other option for a hemisphere, you can find the volume of the whole sphere and just take that answer and divide it in half if you want to. Okay, 